Yo, yo, what it is, everybody. Thanks for tuning back into another episode here on the Speedbug channel. It's been a minute since I've made a video here about my F450 here in the background, and I wanted to give you all an update on this. Y'all know I bought this truck uh, just about 12 months ago, and uh, I have pretty much dailyed it ever since. It's pretty much been my go-to vehicle. Now, I did buy the Ram, the 3500 as well, and I still have all the other toys, but uh, I wanted to give you the in-depth and let you know if any complications any issues or anything that i've had uh with the truck you know since i've bought this vehicle and uh to be 100 percent honest with you um it's it is a 2021 f450 and i've pretty much had not one issue period um a known uh issue uh you could call it that well a lot of people say it's the tires um i uh necessarily don't no, but uh, they're not the greatest tires, but we all know that it's just the stockers. They tended to kind of wear just on the outside nubs. Um, but, uh, and if you look on the forms, everyone uh, that kind of seems to have these seems to really have this uh, issue as well. But uh, I haven't had any issues or anything like that. Um, I will also go over a few of the performance modifications that I have done to it as well. Um, as far as the interior, let me give you guys a quick in look on this. Now for the interior, it's held up fantastic. It's great, no cracks or nothing in the leather, uh, no wrinkles or anything like that. Uh, the truck has just about 13,000 miles, no paint fade. I did have it ceramic coated pretty much right away. Power steps work great. Brakes are still flawless. Um, uh, out of those 13,000 miles, to be honest with you, I've towed roughly, probably, probably at least half, probably about six or 7,000 with it. Uh, I do have a couple uh, trailers in my race car. So one is a 28 footer and the other one is a 26. And to be honest, uh, you know, yes, the max bumper pull with this truck, uh, with my current configuration is uh, just under 25,000. My trailer all loaded up is 18,000. And I'm gonna tell you, it pulls like a dream. I went ahead and actually got my trailer from Texas and brought it all the way back to Florida. Perfectly fine. And it wasn't a lot of auto, uh, a lot of corrections left and right uh, for uh, to stay to keep it in the lane. Uh, and I had a joker up about uh, sometimes up to about 85 miles an hour. Now a lot of that has to do with the trailer and the suspension that comes on the trailer, but everything has pretty much been great and fantastic with it. Uh, Ford does all the maintenance on it since it is brand new, and it's uh, for the oil changes and for the service that you do buy it uh, for the first couple of years. So it pretty much has been pretty much, I mean all free i just put diesel in it now uh as far as the uh def and the other things now when i first had the truck for about the first six thousand miles on city um i would average somewhere between i don't know let's say the uh you know 12 to 14 or 15 mile per gallon range and then on the highway i could get maybe 18 or 19 since I've done some of the other uh, computer changes, uh, and we're just going to leave it as, as that, uh, and, uh, you know, upgraded some of the exhaust and stuff like that, this thing has gotten well over 20 in the city. So uh, the, the third generation Power Stroke 6.7 is, is an amazing engine, and, and it's amazing how much it actually is held back. Uh, is it expensive to do? Not as expensive as a GM truck, but uh, hell, no, no truck is more expensive to modify than the L5P trucks. Uh, but uh, the, I'm just gonna tell you this, my MPG has gone up uh, about 50%. So whatever it is that you guys are currently getting with your gears and any of the lighter trucks, the 250s and the 350s that don't have, um, as, as high of a, a rear end gear ratio uh they're even going to get better what kills the 450s obviously is the rear end ratio but we know those are there just specifically for the towing again after i've also done those modifications uh also been completely problem free not one issue as well no check engine lights on the dash or anything like that um so how's for that to get done i cannot share uh you modify your own truck at your own being i did void my warranty on my truck and that's perfectly fine but uh, i also have future plans to do other things with this vehicle anyway uh, but as far as the overall just mechanics of the truck 
I've pretty much changed oil and put diesel in it and put DEF in it since, I, since I've gotten it. And Ford has done it for the most part. Once it's all of the free service stuff is out of it, I will end up taking care of it and doing that. Uh, you know, like changing the transfer case and the axles and everything else under the sun that it, that it may need. Uh, but I was really, you know, interested in looking just, you know, see if there was any bugs like with the with the sink system, uh, with the the automatic wipers, you know, how the brakes are going to be, you know, does it does it chew up coolant, you know, anything under the sun, you, you know, there's a lot of electronics on the plat platinum, do the, do the uh, massaging seats break, you know, do the window stop working, whatever it could be. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't had absolutely one issue with the truck and i know the 2022s actually come with the updated center console so a little jealous of you guys congratulations i psh, I, w I wish i would have waited well not really because i'm not gonna lie i love this truck uh i do still have my ram i love my lifted ram over here but i'm not gonna lie and also having a denali uh, as well i will tell you this the ford f250 350 and 450 hands down are my favorite trucks and you guys know that watch my channel i'm a gm guy i just pretty much a gm guy at, at heart but i'm not gonna lie the ford is, is where it's at i just think it's, it's truly an all-around better truck and i have nothing but great things to say about this vehicle so thirteen thousand miles in towed for about six of them uh in, in all trailers were in access over ten thousand pounds and the other one's about 16 maybe 18,000 pounds and it, it doesn't budge a sweat so uh very happy with this purchase everything with it's been great and uh, i will let you guys know if anything else comes up with it so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you for another update in the future